is up, everybody? Me, Andrew Quinn here, a.k.a. At Rush Woman, the Interwebs, and today we're going to be talking about Assassin's Creed Unity. Now, what's special about this game? Uh, resolution. Because a lot of people are getting really huffy and puffy on the interwebs. What's new? Okay? Because the internet is a crazy place, but let's talk about it for a bit in a more rational sense. So, today, uh, it's some, some misinterpretations, but, well, supposed misinterpretations with some quotes here and there and a lot of people are getting mad and angry whatever okay let's talk about it. unity is the first ever assassin's creed game first set in the french revolution which is really damn awesome but it's the first ever assassin's creed to be for console uh, next generation of console so it's going to come to pc xbox one ps4 that's it no Xbox 360, no PS3. PS3 and Xbox 360 and PC are getting rogue, so if you're a PC gamer, you kind of get both, and you're really happy. So, let's talk about these statements. Now, a lot of people are talking about, oh, it's the next-gen version, I'm so excited, but when asked about the resolution, uh, Vincent Proprion, hopefully I'm saying his name right, uh, he is a game designer at Ubisoft, and he said some very peculiar, peculiar things, saying that the game is going to be staying at 900p and 30fps across both platforms, PS4 and Xbox uh, One. So, he further elaborated and said, the reason why he did this is, quote-unquote, to avoid debates and stuff. Yeah. He said that. And then later on he says he was misinterpreted because the big boys at Ubisoft said, oh, you, you screwed up on that one, buddy. So then later later on, Vincent Proprion recants a statement, and then he says, quote-unquote, we know a lot of gamers consider 1080p with 60 frames per second to be the gold standard, especially on the new generation of consoles. We realized we had also pushed for 1080p in some of our previous games, including AZ4, which was bumped from 900p to 1080p on PS4 via post-launch patch. So, this is a lot of hullabaloo for something that I feel like could go both ways. Now, I do completely 100% think that both consoles were toned down to stop debates and stuff. I literally feel like that's the reason why. I feel like it is, and I feel like uh, the, the mentality of which console's better, blah, 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 is feeding into these developers. It's ruining us. It really is. It really is. The bitching and moaning on the internet is ruining game development right now. It really is. It's true. Because these people are playing their games, they're they're making the games, and, and these people on the internet are just saying, bah, the Xbox One is less powerful, blah, I'm getting PS4, and like, this is ruining relationships with them because if they make it less, then it kind of looks like they're favoring things, and they can't do that. They can't. They can't do that because then it's going to look biased, and they're going to lose exclusive deals and stuff. It doesn't look good for Ubisoft. So, cut. This is what they're going to have to do now. And I feel like I honestly feel like the recanted state, the recanted statement, the true, tr the true statement where you said that they did it to d avoid debates and stuff. I feel like that's 100 percent true. I feel like they did it just so they can be like, okay, screw it. They're both equal. We have evil, even ground with both of them. And I think he kind of screwed up by saying that. He let the cat out of the bag. So, that's kind of the big thing with it. I, I do believe that PS4 could get 1080p 6 frames a second. I really do. And a lot of people don't understand. I feel like these games could run on, on Xbox One 1080p 6 frames a second also. It's just all about optimization and time. That's the thing. That's just the thing. Like, Valve Source games, right? If you look at Valve Source games... Those are hardcore games. Those games are, a lot of these games are very, Titanfall runs off the Source engine. That game is very intensive in its graphics. But the thing about it, though, is that it is so well optimized for PC to the point where I could run it on my PC if I really wanted to tone down some settings. Like, that's the point, right? Games in general have to be optimized, and it's all about that time and relationship and how well you want to optimize it. Now... Do they really want to take the time an extra year to optimize this game to make it 1080p 60 frames a second? No. They can't do that. They're not going to do that. So instead of having a better one, a better version of it on PS4 than Xbox One, that, does not, that doesn't look good. As I said before, it doesn't look good to them. So they need to eat level, even the playing field. Now, is this bad? I think it's actually pretty bad. I think this is a really, this is kind of getting a little scarier. Like, 
if you're making games and you're striving for 1080p 60 frames a second, I think it, there's a huge difference between 30 and 60 frames a second. There's a huge difference from 90, 900p to 1080p. There is. There's a huge, huge difference. And, like, the fact that they're not even hitting that or they're not striving to it, I think we just need to have time to optimize. Like, that's the thing. I, the developers are getting used to the console still, but there needs to be that time. I think most games should be 1080p 60 frames a second, honestly. I, I can't deal with this 30 frames a second right now. We're in the beginning of the generation. We're having these amazing games come out, and we're they're just not meeting these technical standards. Now, the thing that actually scares me with this is that I feel like this might be toned down also for the PC version. I feel like when they release it, it is going to be toned down a bit, so then you can't get the full maximum about the game. And they say also in the article, like, why would we try to, you know, hold back our baby or whatever? But that's what they're totally doing. They're totally taking the game, and they're going to be, you know, trying to put it in this box, and put it into this game, and release it on time constraints, so they can, you know, get the two-year cycle out there, and get the game out, and uh, get all the investors happy so that's why they would <laughs> that's why they would make their baby uh, less so then everyone's happy and no one's mad so the internet's not but now the uh, Vincent Propion said that people are mad uh, I everyone is entitled to the opinion I feel like you are uh, I think people should be mad somewhat uh, this is is a really weird issue that you're kind of taking it and you're making it lower for one console but I mean I think just people with ps4s I think people that are mad are mostly PS4 gamers, uh, you guys need to understand that this is the way games are going to have to work now. You're going to have to see parity between both consoles. You can't be like, okay, one version is clearly better than the other, even though there's no exclusive rights there. You just can't. You can't do it. You can't do it. Because it's not good for business. No one's gaining anything. No one's losing anything. Apparently, a few gamers are probably picking up more for PS4 than Xbox One or whatever, or vice versa. So, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of my opinion on it. If you're going to be mad about it, you got to understand the logistics behind it, why it's happening, the business science side of things. Sure, it sucks, but it makes sense, and you got to live with it. Honestly, I'm sorry, but it just has to happen like this. So what do you guys think? Should 900p, 1080p even matter? Can you even tell the difference? I don't know. 30, 60? I can tell the difference between that. But talking about stuff. I just came from Comic Con. I'm really tired. If I'm rambling, sorry. Also, this background changing. Also, no gameplay. You know why? I'm never doing gameplay again. Because I realize this is not a channel for gameplay. I'm not trying to be PewDiePie. I'm not trying to play games and, you know, keep your entertainment or whatever. If you're into video games, this is the channel for you. This is not a gaming channel where you're going to be watching my gameplay and zoning out and watching me play video games. No. It's not this. This is a different type of channel. This is me talking about video games, speaking about video games, maybe editing some video game clips into here. I'm not going to be putting full gameplay into here. This is what I am. This is how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to mask it to do a broad appeal or whatever, even though I didn't really have much broad appeal. Thanks. Peace.